Good afternoon, allies. My name is Bill Martin, and I'm with Alliance RV. Today, we're going to take a little deeper look at roller shades that we use across our products. So, one of the common questions I get from customers is, hey, I pulled my shade down and it won't go back up. So, when you pull a shade all the way down, you'll fully extend it. If you fully extended it, sometimes when you try and reach the bottom and do the normal pull down and release, it won't release. It'll get stuck there. Well, it's as simple as just doing a few sharp little tugs on the bottom of it. There's a spring up here that will release and allow it to go back up. That's going to be the first thing that we're going to tell you to try. So now, let's take a little deeper look at these. If you're having issues with how fast something retracts or how far it comes down, how it's set, there are some adjustable settings on these. So the question first of all is, how do I get my balance down? Well, we're going to take a quick look at that. So taking off a of balance in the roller shade is extremely simple. We basically just use an L bracket. There's going to be two to three, depending on how long of the balance that you're dealing with. But it's as simple as getting either your powered screw gun or a screwdriver with a long shaft on it and a number two square drive bit. You find those angle brackets underneath here, undo those two, and the balance comes right down. So now you've got the balance down. We actually mount the roller shade to the balance itself. So once the balance is off the wall, it all comes off as a complete unit. How you get that off is taking a, a flat-headed screwdriver. There's little tabs here. You push in on these tabs, it will release the blind. I've used my thumb here, but you can see it's releasing the blind. On both sides. You pull the blind out, you just in a track system. All right, so once you have the roller shade completely removed from the balance, now you have access to the end of it here. With a flathead screwdriver, this is where your tension springs are at. You can adjust how fast or how slow that roller shade uh, goes up and goes down. Uh, you can also adjust how much hang you have, how much you want this handlebar to hang down. You can have it hang down a couple inches, or you can have it suck all the way up, just depending on how, how much tension you put on those springs. And that is done just like this. Flat-headed screwdriver, in the end, tighten it to uh, increase the tension. You want to go the opposite direction of which the roller is unrolling to ease the tension you want to go in the direction that the roller is unrolling. It's just that easy. So now that we've adjusted everything to our liking, we just need to put the uh, roller shade back in the balance and then the balance back up on the wall. The shade, that metal track, snaps back into these clips. One side first. And then that front edge snaps into place. You'll hear an audible click. Now we have a complete assembly ready to go back up on the wall with the same two L brackets that you took down the first time. Well, that's about all there is to the roller shades and the balances. But if you have any questions that were left unturned, don't hesitate to reach out to our team at service at Alliance RV, or you can join our Facebook group page at Alliance RV Group. Another great resource, as well as all the other social media channels, just type in at Alliance RV.